I'm going to shoot a short little demo on installing a rear shock on a 2014 RT Limited. To do that, saddlebags and the trunk need to be completely removed. And we're going to do that all in one piece. Let's see if I can back it out. There we go. Going to need to take the three screws off of here, one screw here course going to be doing both sides then underneath the seat you'll see the four bolts like that in each corner those will have to be removed as well after I get those done I'll get back to you hold on okay it turns out that you do need to take off your side panels because there's a nut on each side right here it also needs to come off so there's no big deal and uh, before everybody screams at me for not showing you how to take off mirrors and the side panels uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube to do that so just trying to make this video as short as possible Okay, I'm just going to point out that this little bolt down here on each side is actually a 10 millimeter. The ones from the top were 13 millimeter. Okay, bear with me. First time doing this. So. Uh, your shaler valve has to pop out of the hole here. It's, it, that's really not a big deal. Give it a half turn and it pops right out of the hole. I'm going to disconnect the pinion seat. I believe that's what it's called anyway and jiggle it back a little further and look for some more electrical connections okay I'm gonna give this a go without removing the rest of this back lid I've got it pulled back quite a bit and you see in there I can get a wrench on it it's kind of hard to see but anyway between that and a couple of long extensions on the other side, I can get at that top bolt pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let me back out of here, oops, going to release the air out of the shaler valve and go around to the left hand side of the bike. And where are you? Sorry, I didn't bother to check off the go. Just underneath here, there's your position arm. Straight up in here. So we're going to take that off. And then we're going to take the bottom bolt out of the, the shock. Be right back. Okay, I'll just quickly point out. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you. That behind that sensor arm, I'm sorry, behind the sensor arm, that's a captured nut, but it actually does spin in there. So you need to get a small set of vice grips on the back of it, or something similar, just so you can hold it from spinning while you take the little 10 millimeter bolt out of there. Okay, the next step is going to be to take out the lower bolt. Alright, so we're going to take the lower bolt out. Basically just going to use uh, the jack just to get enough pressure off the back tire as so the bolt will slide out freely. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself and pulled the shock out without videoing it, but you can follow the magnet here. That's where it mounts to the top there. It is a two-person job. I've got my lovely assistant Sally helping me today. And uh, so, I basically, what I did is I just got back out. Right, and a double extension on there to reach in. And Sally held the nut on the other side, and out she came. 
Now to pop the old or the new guy in. It's a quick shot of my new Elka Stage 2 shock in comparison to the stock shock. It's going to be a considerable improvement. Here, this just to give you an idea how I got in there. Got two extensions on a ratchet. Putting in the new bolt and got my lovely assistant holding the nut on the other side. Now I'm going to torque that up to 35 foot pounds. Be right back. Okay, so that's kind of hard to get an angle on it. Anyway, just used the floor jack so I could line up the bottom bolt and get it through on the shock and tightened up that uh, sensor right there and now let's just get the body panels back on line up the rear deck slap her back together and take her for a rip hey okay, there she is all back together took it for a quick rip everything's nice and tight ride feels excellent uh, I want to give a shout out to Joe Meyer from Squared Away. Uh, the tips that he sent to me were uh, spot on. Really helped with the install of that rear shock. It was a bit of a bear. You know, certainly a two person job. You need somebody at your side. Makes it a lot quicker. I think by the time I got everything back together, it was probably close to three hours. So. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the demo.